graphic design class. Uh, okay. Okay. Probably I'll be taking you through the definition of graphic design. And the reason why I'm taking this part is there is this generic like calling graphic design, graphics design. So like you have here, the correct one is graphic design. It's not graphics design definitions. Let's start with the first one. Graphic design, it means placing, arranging, and organizing text and graphics into a picture plane for an explicate a clear visual message. Then you can see that you are doing graphic design. You have to communicate a clear visual message. There's a similar definition that the process of using typographical photography and illustration. Now, typographical photography and illustration, those are the theory basic types of graphic design we have because when you get typography, it means text. So we make use of one text from a photography, we make use of pictures. So basically, graphic design, we make use of theory things to do everything we do. Make use of text, we make use of pictures, I will make use of shapes. Text from whatever tool we're using to make our design is what makes our... Uh... All right, that's just an aspect of graphic design in which designers would create supporting images, charts, tables, or graphs. We're not going to do that, so let's just... All right, so in the course of uh, our classes, we'll be doing this. This is the course outline. So today, I think it will to show up and it's tools. I'll tell you the basic ones because Photoshop has a lot of tools. So I'll tell you the basic ones you need to get started. And if you're making your designs, fine. Um, and then, Picture gradients fade into background, how to fade the picture into background, and then blending options. If you're able to do that, maybe we'll go to the second class because there is no time. All right. Like you can see, that's the agenda. For okay. I'm a very practical person. Please respond. I don't know if you're. Yes, I'm, I can't I hear, you. hear me. All right. All right. So I'm a very practical person. I was no advantage to me practical. They, they all put theory into my head. In fact, I went to a computer training and they were teaching me theory and I didn't really learn anything. So I wouldn't want you to so far the same thing as then as I do the practicals, I will explain the theory behind the practical. Are you good with that? Yes, all right. So before we proceed, I like it. Well, so wow. this is a design I made for myself. Oh, they call this UI design. That part, that black part, is my. So very soon you'll be making some of that. Okay. So this is an app design I made. One. Okay, this a web. Okay, now uh, this is a social media, um, a set of social media and uh, flyer. Make so you're familiar with something like this social media post. That's no waste time. Okay, now these ones are called cover art, and this type of design is used for parties. Is for moving of you know all those kind of things. You know it's different from this one. Yes. This one is corporate. Corporate is simple, but it has some rules. It must not have too much color. Like but they have their colors. 
So you must abide by, by that. There must be some catchy distinct. So I want to notice the difference between us. This a good example of cover art, or you can call it party designs and all of that, which most people like. Um, this looks more like an album art. So let's not waste time. All right, so this is a logo design. With time, you'll be able to do all of these things. I will teach you all the scopes, all the rules, and everything you need to do. So this cartoon design. And it's, okay, so this is um Brandon. So uh, why I did this online, why they were on camp. So I made this quick logo. So after the class, I decided to name it Alpha Brand. Are you with me? Yes, sir. All right. So I decided to name it Alpha Brand. So after which I I work on it, I put branding. You have to design for a brand that's about to start up. You need to give them more than just a logo. This is what most designers give to people when they say they want to make a logo, give them something like this. They want to do full branding. You give them much more than that. You give this. This is the making part of the designs. Take much of the time. So let's just, so don't be scared. Don't be scared. They are not as hard as they look. They're not as hard as they look. So I teach you the basics work right away. So without wasting time, let us open Photoshop. I believe you have Photoshop installed on your phone. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, it. So as you can see, mine is for the Photoshop sixteen nineteen. So the reason why I have to, if you are twenty nineteen, is um, I prefer it because it's it's it is user friendly. It is easy, so it is very easy to learn. Why? Because if you put the mouse arrow on some of the tools, it will tell you what it does. Good to it's good to so you can work with that. Can work with that. All right. Why mine is loading? Have you? Okay. All right, so on the left side, we see create new and you will see open. As you can see, mine, you see uh, under what comes to position, I, I open. So this is how it will put it after you've been working on it, but we don't need for that. On the left side, just click on create new. So the settings I would like you to make here, number one thing is resolution. It's very important. Make your resolution 300 and then the dimensions. Let us work with inches. That's the option that's the limiters, points, and but let's work with inches. Because why is it inches? Because most of the time you, you want to create a design for banners and others, or they will work with um, feet, feet and inches. So they're going to, so that's why I just like using inches. Since we're using inches, 
make the width six yes. and the height six. Yeah, six. All right. So the color mode, make sure it is in RBG color. RBG color. And they're right in front of. Yes, exactly. Um, background content. Mine is white. Maybe you should keep yours in white too. Okay, now let me explain some of the reasons why we are using the um, if a picture has a higher resolution, you know what I mean? It means that it is sharp. It doesn't get blurry easily. Designs, the average or the considerably good one that is usually recommended is 300. If you use it, it's blurry and you won't like what you keep. So you need something that will be shouty, something that will be tight, that people will feel that no, it's high resolution. So just try to keep it at. But because Photoshop is um the the package is is kind of too tough. It's a little too tough for most of it crashes system, we do some things on it. But with all this time, just create. So when you create, it opens like the white square and the larger gray space. Are you there? Now they're explaining here. You see this white space. Um, I want to like you to see it as a paper. I would like you to see the safer where you can design an opening. Are you with me? Yes, so instead, look at this gray part. The gray part on the is immediately on, on the outwards of the white part. So let's assume there's a black A4 paper. Okay, are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay, so that white part, it's as so that's out. Okay, so see, see the black part as the paper. Hello. And the yes, how we design Photoshop. Photoshop um, work with layers. So whatever we design is going to be on that. So which means that we want to see eventually it is what is in this open space that matters. And I will give you an example. On the left side, if I, I click and I create a rectangle. Now, see me move it. So it starts to disappear. Because as far as potential is concerned, it's only this opening, since that are cited in this opening that matters. So if this white part were to be a paper, then this part of this shape won't be disappearing. You will still be seeing them on the gray parts. So what we do in photographic shapes? All right, so you can see that now the first shape I drew is so each turn, each item you place in that, they are always in layers. So look at the right side of, of. so you will see some things like layers, channels, parts, and properties. Mine just look at layers. Are you trying to look at my? Okay, I know on okay, your own I've side, seen I've seen my you see layers, it's yeah. a little to the down part. Okay, yes. so click on layers. Okay, okay, you see, um, 
uh, something like background, and it has something like padlock on it. Layers, can you see that? You see something like background? Yes, sir. Yeah, with padlock. So when you open a Photoshop environment, that's the first thing you will see. So put in some items into Photoshop, it will be creating it on it. So here's what you're going to do. On the left side, we have the tools. Like what we'll be restricting ourselves to just these layers. So whenever you are not seeing this layer part, click on the layers. You need to keep saying that we're making use of layers and on the left side, we're making use of these tools. So before I start explaining all the tools, because it can get a little complicated, let's do a little something. Left side, towards the down part, you see something like rectangle or shape, whatever shape it is. It is on the Have you found it? Have you found it? I closed my my application because I grew some reopening the app again. All right, no problem. Be fast about it. What? Okay, yeah, I'm back. Yes, I will. All right. So on the on the left part, um, the tools. Left. Hello? Call the two. Yeah. So look down. All right. Have you done that? All right, so right now we want to use the rectangle, so click on rectangle. Have you done that? Have you clicked on the rectangle? Okay, so you will um, bring the cursor into the white part and then you will drag it. Got it. I need to create like a new white sheet. A new layer. Okay. All right. So, first about that. I wait for you. Okay. So I'll go to new. Then put my weight in three on uh, in six height six six inches six inches. Then resolution add GB color. Then eight bits. Yes, eight bits. Then background contents white white yeah very good right on the white background okay all right are we good to go now yes sir all right so on the left side where you have your hello hello um locate the rectangle it's under on one black arrow. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll see it. Yes, I'll see it. Let's press the rectangle to display so many shape options. Right click on it, right click. Right click on the so right angle. Right click on it, right click on it. I should write, right click on the 
right angle. Right. Are you with me? Right. Right. Exactly. Okay. So when you right click on it, it should display some other options. You have something like rectangle. I'm good to so uh, each of the tools when you right click on them, it will show you some other options apart from the one that is listed there. Mm. But we're taking it one after each other. Okay. Have you done that? Yes, sir. So you are going to draw as if you place a pencil on the paper and then you draw starting from where you want to start. To where I do my I try to do it. So I drag it this way and drop it. Do you know how to drag? Yeah. Have you done that? Yes, sir. I've done mine. Right. Um, on your Zoom, is there any way you can share your screen? I'd like to see what you're doing. Let me see. How will I share my screen from this place? I, when you zoom environment, you should bring an option of share screen down. Just try to look down. Are we point share screens? Okay. So I, I'll see share screen. Yeah, click on it. I've clicked on it. Yeah. It's showing me uh, different options that I do not oh. understand. Which as well. Okay, it's showing you your screen and my screen as well. Yes. So what will I press now? Let me see if I can access. Okay. Let's leave that for a little bit. The next class, we work on sharing both screens so that we can see each other. All right, let's continue. Are you with me? All right, yes, so we've drawn a rectangle of your rectangle. Black. Okay, so when you look up, up, you see something like shape. Some other details like that. Mm. Incident. So click on fill. Click on that black, on that black based in front of you. you click on it. Okay. The black based in front of you. Okay, so I the black represents the, the color, the co current color you are using for. So fill, whenever you see fill, in Photoshop, the reason why they are using fill for it is. It's the color that fills whatever shape you're using. Right in front of it, you will see stroke. Stroke means the line color. And if it's a line color, maybe you want the color bonding that black distance to be blue. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's what the stroke works for. The fill works for. Choose any. And then just choose a random color there. I choose red. So you can choose something. So when you click on it, did it change? Yeah. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on stroke, just like you did the field. In front of stroke, you also see a white something. Yeah. Click on it. Click on it. So give down black. Okay. All right, have you done that? Yes, sir. All right, so in front of the X, 
one ps yeah in, right you know so we uh we we just did for the field we did line color mm. in front of it you should see something there's another option in mind the roots one px what's written in yours okay yeah, so uh, after stroke what else is where they wrote three points three okay pieces. so three yeah pieces. it's click on that arrow that that goes down there's an arrow that leads down okay okay click on it so you will see uh drag left and right so play with it drag it left and right and see what it okay, does okay i've seen it okay so you see that as you yes so i drag as you drag it to the left it uh -huh. so basically the point of doing all of this is when left side are you with me yes and you throw it in the workspace the important functions the basic functions that particular um shape or whatever you draw will pop up on top so which means that after you've selected a, a tool here and you're working on it options and the things you need for it they are always up okay all right so i walk this through that so let's click on that shape part you know we have selected the right angle so you right click on it okay and you select a circle now select a circle uh rectangle two yeah you right click on it so it will show you some other options so select the circle i should say let the, the no which one would like there is uh, one yeah. select the eclipse two eclipse okay. so what have you done that yes sir all right so draw it into the red book that way I've done mine. So what you're going to do is you're going to change the fill color. So click, go up, click on that. I'm changing mine to blue. Okay. Have you done that? Well, is this the fill? Yeah. Okay. So whenever you are working on a shape, it will always display fill. Is we display stroke and all of those. So I've changed change, change, change the color. Yeah, I've changed the color. Change the stroke color, change it to like white. The stroke color to white. All right. So um on your two. Um, panel, come to the left on the two panel. Like a cross with arrowhead. Something like cross. Yeah, the first tool right on top. Okay. Click on yes, it. That has so that's what you'll be using the most in Photoshop. It is called selection tool. You understand? Man so, is written. Man is written move to. Yeah. So click on it. Let us see what it does. I've clicked on it. Okay. So it is move to. It's also mm. you now you selected it. If you want to select the circle, all you mm. need to do is to click on it. So you can select it automatically. Go to the right part, click on layers. 
that part that I show you, the layers part, mm. click on it. Now you see that in the layers, you have um, mm. three layers now. Yes. Yeah, so we have the background, mm. we have the first rectangle we drew, and now we have the circuit. Doing, you know, we already selected the move to. Yes. Okay. So click on circle. Have you done that? Yes, sir. The circle part is selected differently from the rest. Mm. Okay. Now click on the box, the red box. Do you notice the difference? I should click yeah. on my box. Yeah. Clicks on the click on the red box. I've clicked it. Yeah. yeah. So what did you notice in the layers? That over the rest. It's it's showing a special gray highlights. And you did you notice mm, that? I didn't notice it though. Okay, so you move to selected. You move to. Yes, sir. Is it chosen? Click yes. on circle. Okay. Okay. I've, layers part. It's on circle, but I click on circle using the left click angle of the mouse, but not uh, yeah. yeah. If I to go to another layer, I have to click manually on the layer I want to go to. Or I can, or I will uh, use mouse to click the layer I want to use. That you don't actually right. have to do that. You don't actually have to do that. If you click on the circle, normally you should click on the red box. You should highlight it on layers. Is it that yours is not doing the way? Maybe mine is not doing that way. Mine is manual. Okay, okay, all right, no problem. So my point is, whenever you want to work on something, whether you import a shape, whatever, it will always come up in these layers parts. So it will always be arranged in layers. Here. So if I want to put this box up to the layers part, then drag this box on top of this eclipse. When you're dragging it, a blue line like this. Right? And you see that when it shows the double blue line, then you can drop it. It will bring yeah, can it. Try that. Can you repeat what you just said? Okay. Click on the red box on your layers part. On your okay. layers part, not on the workspace now. Okay. I want to bring it on top of the eclipse. Mm -hmm. You want to bring rectangle one on top of eclipse one. So what you're going to do is, we are going to drag it and bring the eclipse where the mouse will indicate until you see one indication like two line indication double stroke look at the way i'm doing my watch my head so you, you drag it until you see something like these two lines so once you see it you drop it right try that now drag it so until it brings up something like yes i've done my I've done then, okay very good all right so what you're going to do is we're going to drag it down again the same method when you bring it under it it should bring something like double yes blue, then drag it okay so which means that we now know how to change layer you want to change the arrangement we can do that now so we flex Three things right now. We plan how to draw a shape inside our work. We learn how to give it a line color. 
we've learned how to arrange our layers. Do you want to try that again? Or we should move on? Thanks, I'll try that. All right, <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, here's what we're going to do. I will teach you to be using some basic shortcut keys, but I prefer you to write it down okay. or type it on your phone. Which one will you? I will keep right. So, all right. So, copy. Control C, copy. Yeah. Okay. And I write like Control plus C. That it means copy. Control. Plus V. Yeah, it means paste. Okay. So. Control plus plus. Okay. It means enlarge. Okay. Enlarge or, or zoom out. It means uh, reduce or zoom in. Control plus minus. Do you know where your plus is, is on your Let keyboard? Okay, uh, my plus is it is, it is the same uh, button with is beside the backspace. Yes. Yeah. So, so to try, you want to be on the control continuously, but you tap the plus once. See what it does. Zoom out. What did it do? Zoom out. Oh. Okay. So I like. do it. Okay. Reduce. So, so because we are designing and we are working with every little details, they matter. So in our designs, most of the time, we'll be needing these tools 